Hey friends, welcome to Hot News. It's Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Gotta get down on displates. Check them out, displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. Look at it, look at it. Go check them out, dope metal prints. They hang on your walls with magnets. They plant 10 trees for every displate you buy. And when you use the coupon code UFD, you get 15% off. That's, it's just like magic. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Never believe I won't actually get into the hot news. So let's do that now, which is talking about a lot of stuff that, uh. I feel like we just had a giant launch, you know. Uh, we're coming off July 7th. You had, what was it, five CPUs that launched. Then you also had two graphics cards that launched. We're, we're swimming in a whole bunch of stuff. And there was also the launch of the motherboards, all of the X570s. Well, AMD appears to think that's not enough. And no, we're not talking about new graphics cards like we did yesterday with the Navi 12 GPU, but rather new motherboards because Asus has confirmed to its employees that both X590 and X599 are coming out. And in case you thought X570 was expensive and high end, well, you would be ignorant because X590 is supposed to be the high end chipset now, likely to handle the 12 and 16 core Ryzen 9s most effectively. And it's also confirmed that they're working on the ROG Zenith Extreme 2 or Zenith 2 Extreme, and it's going to be under the moniker of X599, which would hopefully indicate that they're going to be bringing out epic level thre Threadripper chips, because why would you need an increased chipset motherboard setup for something that is supposed to be shrunk nanometers and not needing a whole lot of power. Maybe it's just supposed to support PCI Express 4.0 and that's the addition and it's not really changing anything to the rest of the motherboard design. We'll have to see, but I'm excited. At the same time, I'm really in pain and worried about how much these things are gonna cost considering how much X570s are already costing. Like they confirmed the X590 Pro Prime and X590 ROG Strix. Imagine them confirming a cross Crosshair formula edition of the X5. That thing's gonna be over a thousand dollars. It's already like seven, eight hundred dollars for the X570 version. What is happening here? I understand why they're doing it. The 16 core chip probably needs just a little bit more extra oomph to handle everything. But at the same time, AMD, please, can you launch B550? That's what everybody wants. Why do we have to wait till next year for that? Give us the mid tier if you're gonna launch the high end as well, please. Speaking of launching new stuff, we've gotten new pictures of XFX's custom cooler design for their RX 5700 series graphics cards, both a front side view as well as the rest of it. It's, it's a weird looking boy. It's a, it's a little chunky dude on top, but XFX is no stranger to weird designs. I mean, you got the core set version of the Vega 56. That one's weird. You got the Fat Boy, which great name, also looks like it's kind of pinched in the middle, not as bad as the Vega 56, which is using a nano board. And then, uh, I mean, 8800 GTS, 640 megabytes. XFX, no stranger to weird designs. I kind of like it. And yesterday during their earnings call, Lisa Su confirmed that they are indeed working on seven nanometer high end Navi cards, as well as seven nanometer Ryzen parts for mobile. Obviously right now you have something like the 3750H that's based on Zen Plus and not Zen 2, but they're saying that they're on track for high end Navi, which we talked about in yesterday's hot news, if you want to check that out up there. But then also hopefully, potentially really good laptop stuff because seven nanometers, even if they come in at the exact exact same performance of what exists on the market right now, well then you would actually just get really good battery life because all of the battery savings, it'd be quite dope. And the last little bit of AMD news, I promise, is that uh, they released another driver update, 19.7.5, but we also talked about in yesterday's hot news how there are some issues with idle fan speeds on the new Navi cards, and apparently this new one still doesn't fix it. So uh, uh, watch out with your fans. And then a key thing that Tech Power Up actually found out about NVIDIA's super cards is actually that they come in three different variants, not just uh, the stock 2060 super. There are three different types of 2060 super GPUs out there. It's not as clear cut as what they did with the original RTX launch, which was give a normal GPU, but then a binned overclockable uh, A version of the, the chip. It's just that there's multiple variants of these and Nvidia actually doesn't know. When Tech Power Up reached out to them, they said, interesting, I'll check internally. So find out what that means, who knows. And then in case you're a drone flyer, 
there's a new app for you called the Before You Fly app, which is supposed to help you identify where you're allowed to actually fly your drone. It's supposed to be actually much more helpful than the previous app by the FAA, and this one's actually usable. So you can boot it up, be like, oh, I can fly here. That's how, that's how that works. And speaking of drones, but bikes that have batteries. Battery powered bikes. Anyways, Lyft, the ride sharing app, they also apparently have electric powered bicycles in San Francisco called Bay Wills. It's uh, whatever. Uh, they're disabling it because they're catching fire. The batteries are exploding. It's amazing. They're investigating it right now, but it appears that no one has gotten hurt. People just have like discovered burnt crispy bikes at the place where you're supposed to go pick them up. That's awesome. Speaking of burnt crispy stuff, the light sail two has actually successfully completed its first solar sailing test, which is great because the first light sail didn't exactly do very well, but the planetary society has confirmed light sail two. Hey, you're doing all right champ. You're gonna be good. In case you remember the phenomenon that was Pokemon Go, well, you're not alone because it just surpassed 1 billion downloads, which I'm sure half of them go to those like Pokemon Go mining farms where like the dude is walking with a giant array of 85 phones as he's going down the street. Do you like music? I do. I'm actually really pleased with the new Sum 41 album, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there because this is related. Spotify announced yesterday that uh, it has over 108 million subscribers, rising up 31% from the previous year. They've crossed 100 million. That's crazy. We had, uh, PlayStation 4 also crossed its 100 millionth unit sold. Uh, it's the fastest console ever to do that. I don't have that as an article, I'm just saying. But Spotify, over 100 million, but that didn't stop shareholders from being disappointed from them. Anyways, Order and Decline, actually quite a good album. It's like Return to Old Sum 41. I won't get into that. And then, in case you like Linux gaming, Steam has updated its Proton stuff to go from Proton 4.2 to Proton 4.11, and it's seeing significant gains in gaming performance, especially in multi-threaded applications. So you should be able to get some better uh, GPU performance out of your Linux setup if that's what you wanna do with your Linux gaming system. Or you could use Windows like a pleb. Come on, just be like me. Be like me, be a pleb. And also be like me by ending watching this episode of Hot News. Because it's over. It's done. You should also check out Displate at the link in the video description. Reese is ready to press the button so that we can focus on it. And then BAM! I'm going to pop back into focus. UFD is a coupon code. Save 15% on your dope metal prints. Gorgeous, gorgeous metal prints. We have them all over the office. Can't love them enough. Anyways, hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, consider checking us out on Patreon if you want to get uh, our UFD tech videos early and with no ads. But also, I just got the contract for Float Plane, so that's going to be happening sometime soon. Keep it. And then when we release hot news with no ads over there, it's just also like it's not like a day ahead because news happens as it happens. But uh, your boys getting on Float Plane. Get subscribed to Hot News. Also, check out our new Discord. Our, we got it all set up so that you can come over there, talk to us, chat with us, and we can work out the kinks. If you have news, you can submit it there. Or if you have video ideas for UFD Tech, you can submit that there. The link will be in the video description. Come join our Discord, chat with us. We're trying to be on there all day, every day, during work days, and we'll see you there as I see you in the next video. I'm Brett with the UFD Hot News thing. I always forget where I am. And now I'm leaving. Bye.